So Marvel's Avengers fails and causes losses for Square Enix. Surprise! They are known for making RPGs. That's kind of what they became popular for. Hello guys, don't forget to like this video, don't forget to subscribe, and hit that little bell right there so that you can get notifications every time I upload a video, okay? Enjoy. What is up guys, this is Andy Matrix. Welcome to Andy RCV, and I'm just going to make this quick, just this quick statement here about the uh, Square Enix game, the, the Marvel's Avengers Square Enix game that was made. Um... I'm not going to read the whole article, but basically just this quote here saying Marvel's Avengers from Square Enix missed expectations, only selling 60% of the plan. It also contributed to a, to a loss for the HD game division, making this a gas might have might have might not have been the right move. We've seen the Spider-Man a focused single player experience experience works for comic heroes. And uh, it said, well, the second part of Final Fantasy VII remake. OK, that's so that's the, the bottom part is different, but. The Avengers game by Square Enix fails. Look, Square Enix is 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 well known for making uh, RPG games. Okay, the their their dominant game is Final Fantasy, and I think Kingdom Hearts by now. The top game, their top game is Final Fantasy. Okay, the Final Fantasy series, the Final Fantasy online games, that is what they do. Now they do have some other side games that are not, that are not really RPG. I think um, I don't really know the titles, but I you know I will have to look into that. But look, when Square Enix announces we're gonna make an Avengers game, and most of their followers are are RPG gamers, guess what? They're not gonna be so interested in playing that game. That's why the Avengers game failed. It seems to me like Square Enix kind of forgot about their branding because they're trying to get into other industries. I mean, well, not into other genres of gaming, I guess. Other genres of gaming. But I say they've been so successful at creating RPGs. Why not stay in RPGs? And if they're going to experiment with other genres, you know, you kind of have to slow into those genres, right? If they want to get into first-person shooters, slow in. Okay, slowly get into that. Because they had to build up a fan, they had to build up a fan base. You know, everybody knows that. Like for example, uh, back then in the two thousands, it was Ubisoft. Ubisoft created Prince of Persia, so then when Prince of Persia was so popular, you know, they were you know gamers were expecting more games like that from from Ubisoft, and that's exactly what happened. Square Enix they miscalculated and they lost a lot of money. So I mean, the game took about a hundred million dollars to make, and it only took they the game took a hundred million dollars to make, and uh, they thought it was gonna be successful because the the Avengers franchise itself was super successful. But guess what? That's over here in America. That doesn't mean that it's gonna be that it's also gonna be successful in Japan because Japan the games that they make primarily is for the Japanese audience first, and then Westerners. So I'm guessing it's, it, it's I'm guessing it didn't sell a lot of copies in Japan, and also a lot of people that that saw this game made by Square Enix, they were like, "Huh." I mean, not everybody pays attention to the comp to the company that makes the games, but I'm just saying, Square Enix they they miscalculated and thus they lost they 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 made no money. They spent a hundred million and only got sixty percent back of their of their money back. So <laughs> that's a that's a huge loss. It's a huge loss, and it's kind of sad. You know, they've been making these really bad predictions for like the past decade. And I don't know what's really going on with their leadership. But anyways, this is Andy Matrix. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure to like this video, leave a comment below. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome content like this. Peace out.